What's up y'all, Kyle here. You're watching Driving and Vibing. Today I am super excited to be showing you the Polydrop trailer here at the California RV Show, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Big shout out to RV Life and RV Trip Wizard for making this video series possible. They provide great tools for your RV planning needs. RV Trip Wizard can help you find all the best RV parks and all the best routes. And the RV Life app is a GPS RV safe travel guide that won't lead you under any low hanging bridges. So check both of those out. I'll drop the links below. But today's video is all about this Polydrop trailer. Really, it is like a geometric styled modern teardrop trailer. Super exciting. I can't wait to show you the details. Let's do this. So up here on the top of the teardrop is a solar panel, a rhino rack where you can mount kayaks or bikes, and a road shower. This is kind of like a thermal shower. It, it heats up the water by being positioned on the roof, and then you can use it to take a warm shower. Pretty cool, in my opinion, and a very functional and innovative use of space up here. And then you got a fantastic fan vent up on top to have that air circulation come. Uh, standard feature, but not to be discounted when it comes to a teardrop. Not all teardrops come with amenities like that. The kitchen in the poly drop trailer is one of our favorite aspects of the whole unit. You can see here it's beautifully handcrafted plywood, nice countertop space. It's got a sink with a hand pump on it to conserve the water. One of our favorite features though is this mini Dometic fridge. Not that big, but it'll definitely keep some drinks cold and even ice cream. You got this pull out counter, counter space with a cooktop and more cutting area. And you know, the best part about this is that it's all designed to make the most of the space. So let's take a look inside. Now, of all the cool things about this trailer that you have seen and that have you have yet to see, the inside is probably what you'd expect. It is pretty small. I love these doors though. They fly open. Pretty cool stuff. And let's not discount the aesthetics of it all. This is beautiful aluminum sheeting right here. And the interior is made up of this beautiful natural plywood, giving it a retro feel, but not what you're used to seeing in those retro style campers. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of showing materials. So this is right up my alley with the aluminum and the wood. Stepping inside here though, um, it's a tight squeeze. This, you know, a uh, twin size bed probably. Not much, it could fit two people, one person and a dog. But the good thing about this area is that there is a lot of storage space in the front of the bed. My favorite amenity though is the four panel security screen. There is a camera on each side of the upper roof here. So whenever you're in bed, you can see what's going on outside. I'll bring you in so you can see what that looks like but it's just uh, super innovative. I haven't seen this on a pop-up before. If I'm laying in bed, don't know what's going on outside of me, I can still use these cameras and check out what's going on outside. There's also an AC in here, so it blows from the feet up, and uh, that's in addition to the fantastic fan, obviously. 
that pretty much wraps up the inside. You know, not much to talk about in here. It is a typical teardrop as far as space is concerned. Not what a regular RVer would want, but definitely an outdoor adventurer could really get into something like this. Here on the front of the trailer, we have a box. This holds the batteries and the inverter. There's one big battery in here and a 1200 watt inverter. So you can um, run a few things off of that. They also make a model with a 2000 watt inverter in here so it can more easily run things like the uh, low powered AC unit. Um, the hitch though, very cool. Both of the tires have disc brakes on them and they're operated with this trailer hitch, kind of like a boat trailer. So whenever the trailer feels that moving forward, like whenever your vehicle is braking, it's gonna initiate the brakes on the trailer. So it makes it pretty useful. And uh, if you don't like that function, there's a simple power button here where you can turn the brakes on or off. If you're towing it with a substantial vehicle, uh, and in my opinion, that'd be just a lightweight SUV, the trailer brakes probably aren't even necessary, but if you're going to tow it with something more lightweight, like even a Subaru or something like that, you could initiate the disc brakes. That would give you a little more control, and I think that's a great option that they add on here. Overall, this is a super innovative teardrop, but in my opinion, more than that, it's stylistic. It has all the materials I love. It has a unique geometric shape not of a standard teardrop trailer. You're definitely going to um, turn heads whenever you pull this down the road. So a unique teardrop trailer with some fun amenities and best of all, the huge rear kitchen. I think that that is a great buy for anyone in the teardrop market. I know that's a small market, but for me, even not interested in traveling one, it is just cool to see what sort of innovations are happening on the scale of teardrop trailers. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if you would ever take a trip in something like this. Could you travel in something this small? I think I could do it for maybe a week. Overall, very cool rig. Thank you for watching. And again, another shout out to RV Life and RV Trip Wizard for making this video series possible. Links below, check them all out and check out these trailers. They are super cool. See you later.